If this isn't the set of like a horror movie, I don't know what it is. Just be a time lapse. Hi. Love, 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 love. Collective here. <laughs> Sleeves that are detachable. How do I? How do I keep doing this? All right, these are my friends. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, so I just wanted to do, before we get into the vlog, the festival, all of that fun stuff, I wanted to do a really quick Muscle Republic haul try on because they just launched the most insane new range. You guys are going to be obsessed. You're going to love it. The colors, oh, I'm obsessed. So it is the Lux range, which is Probably like the best range there is. It's comfort, it's stylish, it's flattering, it's everything you need. Um, so if you do want to just skip the haul and go shop right now, my discount code is Maddie Bucket. It'll be on the screen here. Um, it is an affiliate code, which means I get a small commission from your purchase, which literally means the world to me and keeps me doing what I love. So love you guys so much. If you ever use my code, um, means the absolute world like of course you guys know I would not work with a brand unless it aligns with my values I love and use their stuff every day and that is Muscle Republic I just love everything that they have and what they do and they keep producing all the good stuff for you guys um, but yeah so let's get into the haul let's go through these colors so this range is called the Lux Soul okay and the colors are so like different we've got neutrals we've got pop of color you've got all of the above and the actual like cuts and shapes of the fabric are just to die for like literally to die for so let's get into it let's start off with my favorite <laughs> we always got to start off with my very favorite this is the first pattern this is the let me just check this is the neutral zebra okay like look at this pattern it's absolutely stunning it's like a really subtle pattern like it's not like boom in your face it's very subtle but this color that like beigey color of the zebra i just love that i love that so much so this is the first bra actually and look at this cut <gasps> like showing off your back muscles sorry what um and then i also got now this this is my favorite top of the entire range, it is called, I'm just going to put it inside out because I've already worn it so much already, um, it is called the Kayla Top, so it's like a half singlet, um, it kind of goes like just to like below my belly button when I wear it, um, but oh my god, like I just feel like I love having that little bit of extra coverage and I just feel like it sits in the most flattering area as you can see, um, you've got the really nice crisscross back that's also adjustable like hello um and it has the built-in sports bra so you don't need to put anything underneath it's just you get to wear that so absolutely obsessed with that top um so with the shorts i'm going to show you two colors for the shorts because there's two different styles of shorts there's a shorter style and there's a longer style so there is this stunning red color, this red block color. Now, I actually love this. Like this looks so flattering on, like at the color, like bright colors are not normally my go-to, but this is like, more, it's more of like a burnt red. Like I wouldn't say it's a bright red and it just is so flattering. So this is me wearing it, but these shorts are the shorter style. This is the mini shorts. The mini shorts are quite of a higher cut and I, like loved it. I really like that higher cut. The only thing you gotta be careful of is like, you know, if you got thighs like me, sometimes mini shorts are more susceptible to roll up. If so, you might wanna go for the longer style short, which I got in the Zebra. Um, so they're called Lux V2 Biker Shorts. So the biker short, you got that little bit of extra length with the biker shorts. Um, that is available in all colors. You've got the two style of shorts. Fabulous. And moving on, matching with the red shorts, I got this style bra, which is different to the first one I showed you in the zebra. So it's a little bit more coverage, 
more coverage at the back, but you've still got that lovely crisscross style. Um, I love this style. I think it suits, I feel like it sits in like just like a super flattering way. Um, it's called the, the Lux Strappy Bra, and the one that's a bit more revealing is the Tessa Bra. So, absolutely love that. Moving on, okay, we have the Deep Brown. I got the tights in the Deep Brown. We love it. So the tights that are available in this range are the 7-8 tights. Um, I love a 7-8 length. Absolutely stunning. It's the same Lux tights that you guys know and love, so you know that you will love it if you try the Lux tights before. So that's an easy one. Done, dusted, pop it in the cart. And I got my favorite Kayla top as well. So as I said, Beautiful crisscrossy back, as you can see, available in all colors at Kayla Top. I love, 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 love this top. Completes me. Last color I want to show you guys is the the saffron. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so this is like a really nice burnt yellow color. Now I wasn't sure about this color at first. I was like, oh, you know, not really my style. As I put it on, I was like, um. That's stunning. I don't know what it is about it. It just looks stunning. This color is just flattering as hell with like all skin tones. I think that's what it is. It's that burnt color that just really flatters most skin tones, which I love. So yeah, we love the yellow. I got that in that same style bra with a little bit more coverage. You've got that stunning straps on the back. And I got the slightly longer, the biker shorts in the yellow as well as you can see um me on the beach wearing them um they just look so so stunning so flattering um yeah so that is the Lux Soul range. A reminder, my discount code is Maddie Bocket. Really, really appreciate if you guys use my code. Love you so much. Let me know what you think of this range if you do get some because I'm obsessed with it and I know you guys are going to be obsessed with it. Um, so anyway, let's get into the vlog and let's go to Grapevine Festival. How do, I, how do I keep doing this? Oh my God, wrong way. That's way too close. Excuse me. Guys, oh my God, sorry. It's the first time I picked up the camera and I'm on my way to the Hunter Valley. Well, I just stopped for like roadie snacks, but um, we're going, we're going to Hunter Valley for Grapevine. This is my first festival since 2019. What in the world? Okay, COVID, two years of lockdowns, of nothing, of like, not of flooding, of not really wanting to risk festival tickets. You know, you guys, everyone knows what this is like. So we're finally going. Guys, I'm so excited. The Veronica's are playing. Am I going for lit literally just them? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, probably. But I'm so keen. Look. Okay, so unfortunately, do you have some bad news about this? So we are going with two other couples. Luke is not here with me. I'm driving by myself. Because, as I've mentioned, Luke has a crazy new job. He's flying to Abu Dhabi Sunday. We thought it might have been the afternoon, so he could probably come and just like leave that, just like drive home that night. Um, uh, <laughs> he literally got told last night, which is the night before we leave, that his flight is at 6 a.m., which means he's got to be at the airport at 3 a.m. on Sunday, <sighs> which is just not doable to come to a festival in the Hunter Valley on Saturday night, which is really really sad it was it's literally like because he's going away for like 10 days or something it would have been our last two nights together to have a boogie and like go away and now i'm alone i'm really it makes me really sad but also like it is what it is this is an insane opportunity for him this is like if Luke had a dream job, this is it. So I'm by myself, but that's okay. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna have fun. I have an awesome outfit planned. The people I'm going with are freaking awesome. I'm gonna be fifth wheeling, but I don't think they'll mind. <laughs> it's gonna be really, really fun. And um, yeah, it's just how it is. I know a bunch of people that are gonna be there too. So 
but we are staying in a hella big house, which I'm keen for. It's gonna have, like, I'll do a tour when we get there. It's got, it's literally got, like, a pool. There's, like, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. They're all, like, king-size room kind of vibes. It's on, like, a big property, so it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a nice weekend away. And look, I'm keen to see how we go with, like, the festival vibes again, okay? It's been a long time since I've done a, an eight hour festival party situation. They can be very long, they can be very, kind of draining, but you know, we'll see how we go. I'm gonna vlog as much as this weekend as I can. I'm gonna go get some petrol and um, see you guys probably when I get there. guys i just arrived at the airbnb so i'm the first one here and everyone else isn't coming until like nine tonight why are they gonna leave me like this but let's do a tour okay so um yeah lounge room dining table and then you've got a freaking pool out there pool garden Oh, another lounge room. Okay, th this this is a lot more light. I'll probably sit here tonight where it's so much more bright. And wait, wait. Okay, this, the light switches are this. Oh! <laughs> okay, kitchen. Wow. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Can't deal with this. It is very dark in here though. Like, it's like that, I don't know. Even though there's heaps of windows, it's so dark. Um, another bathroom, and then you've got the fancy bedroom with the ensuite. And then upstairs, let's go upstairs. Bedroom. All the bedrooms are like massive, like look at all this space. But this is really cute. I wouldn't mind this room. Cute lighting. This other room. Oh love this room though this is so cute that's kind of creepy not gonna lie i don't know what's creepy about it it just is just a tiny bit just a tad and there's a cupboard that's hmm, interesting very very cute i feel like i'm just feeling a little bit like nervous because i'm here by myself i'm like oh my god this is cute though cute little area another bathroom oh my god if this if this isn't the set of like a horror movie, I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, the floor just creaked. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's fine. I love this place. It is sunny. Maybe if I had friends. Okay. All right, these are my friends and they're all following me. I'm guessing they get like get fed. I don't know what to feed you and I don't want to feed you. So I'm not going to, but can you like, now they're following me around. Oh my God. Hello guys. Ants here. Hi. Have you seen on my YouTube before? I don't think so. Oh, well this is Erin. This is like my kindergarten bestie. Oh my God, I can't believe you haven't been on my YouTube before. And this is Georgia. Hi. Hi. <laughs> She's doing makeup. Hi. Okay, so we have two outfit choices. Well, the pants I'm definitely so wearing, but the top, I have two options. This one's really cute. It's very flowy. It's got <laughs> sleeves that are detachable. <laughs> but then I have a black top. Okay, I wanna put it on and then we'll see. Okay, so this is the black top, which we're leaning more towards because it's something different. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we'll do black. I'm just editing this right now and I really I didn't really explain the drinking game you're about to see. It's kind of a wild segment of the vlog, but I kind of love it. So we're playing this game called Red Flags and it's such a fun card game. Essentially, everyone is trying to build the perfect date for like each person in the group. Okay, so all the cards have traits on them, like it could be like a supermodel, could be like a surfer, like random stuff like that. But then you've got the red cards, which is a red flag. So then the person to your left will like sabotage this good date of this supermodel and say that he does something kind of out there, kind of crazy. So the person who is the selected person dating these people 
has to then decide which one they'd still do, even with their red flag. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, watch it, see how you go. It's a really good game. Look it up. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a secret YouTuber? Yeah. No. Nice to be a time lapse. Hi. I'll put that in for you. <laughs> what's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Callum's YouTube channel. Interesting. Next. That's um, yeah, funny. okay, so is a genie, great conversationalist that has to pee every five minutes for five minutes. <laughs> so infinitely. You just wouldn't even phone. see him. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> every five minutes for five minutes. Yeah, so he basically has five peeing. minutes yeah. in between where he doesn't have to pee. Yeah, but then yeah. you have five minute increments and then you can like have time alone? Yes. I, yeah, yeah, I love that. Super model, you know, but they only speak in sarcasm. I think that would be really <laughs> fucking funny. But don't I only speak in sarcasm? Yes. Yeah, so Literally. Me. That's me? you're dating only yourself. Speaks in sarcasm. Yeah, but it's also a supermodel, so I'm like. Yes, uh, a model that's sarcastic. Model would be uh, that's funny. That is funny. I reckon that's pretty funny. Um, I speak sarcastic. That's bad. You? That's yes. why you think Aaron's funny. Oh, okay. That's you're attracted to that somehow. Selective girl. Alright, so Show me this red flag. <laughs> Superhero. Superhero. But also, Maddie, I know that you love your food. And I know how much you fucking oh, hate God. cooking. <gasps> he's a professional chef. Oh, fuck yes. No, he loves her and he's hot. This is a professional chef. Do oh, you ever love food? Flag, flag, he is one. physically <laughs> incapable of asking a question. But that's just because he knows. I would it's hate just that. just says, Maddie, what do you want for dinner? Oh, don't have to ask. You already made it. <gasps> We're in the taxi, everybody. We made it. That was a bit stressful. Nearly didn't get it. We're going. We're oh my going. god. Hi, sorry. I don't need an Uber anymore. I'm getting a taxi. <gasps> I'm so Is he sorry. there? We ended up getting a taxi. So. Oh no. That's fine. Sorry? What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, we're going to get a taxi. Any. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll cancel it. Um, Are you going to be around later though? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. What? Hit the dance floor Don't work too hard My break a backbone Return to the Mac The king is back though Corvette and cash I never lack though She saw the stone You know how that go Fatality My diamonds that cold Versace trunks I hit my backstroke Knock on the door She at the back bro All I really take Is a little taste Allen girl Blue eyes with a little bass Here for the thrill I don't need a chase Sir Wanna vibe it to get away Shimmy shimmy I got the semi four way Don't step out the line Like this a probate You hit the line And try to locate This for the time, got time for no day one. one. Too many, I'm going. Two. Too crazy, and I got Three. bad ones, and they ready. Four. A good time, so now it's. Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh. What a night. It was such a weird festival experience, but like a good one. I did not realize I would know so many people at the festival. <laughs> like, I had like five different groups that I knew, and it was so, that was so, I love that. Because I was like, kind of group hopping. I hope the group I'm with is, was okay with it. I'm pretty sure they were. But I was kind of group hopping in the VIP section. And I'm sorry, I've never seen a festival do a VIP section. That is, literally means you get the whole front row of the crowd. And it's like blocked off to the rest. They're all behind us. Like, And because it was like, wasn't full, there was so much space in this like area at the front. So we're just like dancing in our huge space or like people like pushing and moshing behind us. And I was like, we are living. But I don't think VIP has ever been that VIP. Like, okay. <laughs> um, so like literally you just like leave your little front section, go get a drink, come back to your little front section. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. So amazing. But because it was a little section, I just kept finding people that I knew in that group in the VIP section. So it was really, really like, I feel like I just had so much fun running around and I actually had service the whole time. So if I wanted to come back and find Aaron, I was able to find Aaron. It was, what an interesting festival, but amazing. I didn't get too drunk. I don't feel shit right now. I feel so good. We left like 15 minutes early before Peking Duck was finished, got an Uber 
straight back and we were home before 10. And that's how you do festivals. <laughs> I'm so, I'm just like, it was like very successful. And I don't say that often. It was so successful. So I need to get some breakfast. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have some bacon or if I'm gonna have just like my granola. Cause I feel good. Like, you know, if you feel bad, you want to have like oily stuff, but I don't feel bad. So maybe, maybe I have granola. Hmm. Anyway, all right. Oh, this is my fit though. How cute is this top? Are we not obsessed? Wait, let me stand up so it's cuter. I am literally obsessed with this top. Are you kidding? So yeah, we're going to like a pizza place today. I'm gonna wear this hat with it too. I think that's a vibe. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get breakfast. <laughs> 